Alright, one last time. I can't edit videos because my computer and it's okay. After February, tax will be here, tax returns, and I'll be able to go from there. Alright, I'm going to explain this as quickly as, as I can. I had clean gingerbread on three different epics. Each and every one of them randomly reboots multiple times throughout the day. While on a phone call, while sending a text message, whatever you're doing, it automatically reboots. And it's super duper annoying. Anyways, so, I used software upgrade to flash the EB13. I, it rebooted system. Then it said there was an update to EC05. I did that. Okay, it rebooted to system just fine. Then it said there was an update to EI22. I applied that update. Everything was just fine. I rebooted back to system, rebooted back to system, and then I outed the newest clockwork recovery to the phone, and when I did that, I rebooted back to system, and it overwrote stock custom recovery with stock recovery. I figured that was going to happen, so what I did was I outed clockwork recovery back to the phone. I went before the phone even started up, after Odin finished, I immediately rebooted to recovery. I then proceeded to install, I mounted the USB storage, I transferred over super user, the newest super user from AndroidSU.com um, or whatever, I'll link in the description, then I applied that, I rebooted back to system, I lost custom recovery with stock recovery, but I still had root, so I went to the, to the market, I downloaded a free app called ES File Explorer, I then proceed to go to menu, settings, all the way down here, check Root Explorer, check Yes, check Allow, and then check Mount File System. Make sure both those are checked. Then go back, then go to Favorites, and choose this little icon right here. And under System, you will see a recovery file in there. Delete that by long pressing on it and choosing Delete. Then proceed to ETC. You'll see a re install recovery.sh, hold on it, delete it, press back. Then you can go to ROM Manager and you can click Flash Clockwork Recovery and you'll now have custom recovery. But here's the catch. For some reason when you reboot into recovery from here, it goes to stock recovery. It shows a little loading bar, then it says like install failed or something like that and it appears to have stock recovery. So I'm thinking maybe the two files got back on the phone no, they did not. So, damn it, I can't edit this out either. Fudge. Um, anyway, so after the two files are deleted, I then flash clockwork recovery again, rebooted into recovery. Still, stock recovery. Annoying as hell. I'll show you. Whatever. Screw it. This video's gonna be long anyway. Rebooting the recovery. I'm telling you, this has been like a pain in the butt, but I figured it out. I figured most of it out on my own. Failed. Looks like you have stock recovery. No, you do not. Hold down the camera, the power, volume down. Wait till you see Samsung. Lego. Lego Mago. Bam. Custom recovery. Since you deleted the two files using ES File Explorer, you no longer have to worry about it overriding custom recovery or stock recovery. But for some reason, you can't get into recovery from ROM Manager, which might be fixed in a later version. I don't know. But for now, you've got normal recovery. You can wipe the phone and you can try other ROMs, I don't know, I just will not try any more ROMs, simply put, the people, this is my wife's phone, she does not want the phone to reboot on her while she's on a phone call anymore, that's annoying, now I got two other epics that I gotta do this whole process to over and over again, luckily I'll be good at it and I won't mess up, hopefully, so we have root, we have custom recovery, and we have EI-22 everything, not not an EI-22 ROM and an EH-17 baseband, which was annoying. Menu, settings, about phone, 
There you go. Android 2.3.5, baseband EI22, build number EI22. We have root. Can now use titanium backup and restore everything that you had previously backed up, or you can easily uninstall stuff like asphalt. Goodbye. Asphalt is gone. Books. Uninstall. Goodbye. I mean, just stuff that you would not use. Uh, I've done a review of this. It's this whole app. Rock Titanium Backup. That's just basically how you remove crappy stuff that's on here that you don't need. Home screen tips. Anyways, I'm not making this any longer. We have root, everything works. Now, NASCAR, goodbye. You can do this as a batch, menu, batch. Check the uninstall, all user apps, deselect all, and then go through and check like all share, flash. Whatever you don't want, put a check next to it and click run. But yeah, now you have root, everything works. No phone shouldn't automatically reboot on you. Everything simply works. This is what would Josh do. I'll put all the links in the description. And I'm sorry if this is confusing. This is my ninth time redoing this video. I'm annoyed. Again, this is what would Josh do and I'm out.